Hey YouTube, how's everyone doing? This is Big Country Time, back with some more box openings, mystery boxes, store purchases, a bunch of Funko Pops. So today we have a couple of Amazon boxes. We got one, we got a second one. They're both pretty big boxes. We have a purchase from where we got here, Hot Topic, and back with a Toy USA mystery box. So it's been a while since I bought anything from uh, Toy USA, but uh, they have some outstanding grills and I couldn't pass this up. So we'll save mystery box for last. We'll open up some of these online purchases. We have some big Prime Amazon boxes ready to open. So how's everyone doing out there? Hopefully everyone's having an awesome day, night, morning, whatever it is to you when you're watching this. So um, right before we get into everything, why don't you guys hit the subscribe button. If you guys haven't already hit that subscribe button, hit the little bell so you get notified when uh, whenever I post a video. And you can either hit the like button now, hit it afterward, hit in the middle, but sometime during the video, hit that like button. Or if you don't like it, hit the thumbs down. All right, everything matters. So I need to get credit for everyone out there watching. All right, and really could use some comments, you know, positive or negative. I'll take them all. All right, so here we're opening up one of these Amazon boxes. Not quite sure what purchase this is. Oh, got two two boxes in here. This looks pretty cool. All right, so just a while ago, Amazon had a sale on some Star Wars pops. So guess what? I went and bought those Star Wars pops because I don't got them yet. All right, so first one is bam, first order. Tread Speeder. Look at that. So I never got this when it first came out, but it came on special. So what better time to purchase it than when it's on special? And what do we do with these bigger movie moment pops? We take them out of the box. They are too big to keep in the box. All right. We're not making all this noise. Trying to get it out of the box and balancing this other one on the, my knee. Man. Dude, this is an awesome pop. Right. We shall put this off to the side and let's get this on video. How cool is that? dual troopers in one so they're two different types of troopers so turn the head look at there's the head mask of the one and as you can see the other one because this is uh bobbleheads you can see them both pretty good but dude that's an awesome pop awesome ride look at that i'm gonna enjoy that one on my shelf it's cool Awesome, awesome addition. So this is pretty similar to which uh, Troopers. Uh, the back one, I think it's similar to the First Order Jet Trooper. And the first one, do I have the first one anywhere? No, just this one looks more just like a regular Stormtrooper. So we'll just stick him right there. We'll keep those little bobbleheads bobbling. All right, we're gonna pull out the second pop. Also, Star Wars. Guess which one it is? Oh shoot! All right, so this one has seen its better days. Look at this box. It is destroyed. Wow, that one's bad. Can you see that? 
when you see the damage on the video, it's, it looks way worse in person. But anyway, there's the pop. Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. It's on his, uh, what do you call the ship in? Tie Whisper. Man, this thing, oh shoot. I'm trying to open this thing and it's, it's seen some better days. We're gonna take it out, check it out. Um, I may have to try to do a return on this one. If they, uh, they still have some available, but. So here's the pop with the tie Whisperer. Looks pretty cool. It looks a lot bigger inside the box. When you take it out, it's pretty small. So here's the box. And there's the pop. So, cool pop. I just recently got uh, Kylo Ren, the Supreme Leader of the Glow in the Dark with the t-shirt. That was a cool addition. So here we go, we got those two. So that's probably why these things were on special. They're probably someone else's return. But uh, man, I've seen these in like uh, Target or uh, Walmart and they pretty much, they look like this. But this, this is bad. All right, so we'll just set this off to the side. All right, nothing else in that box. Throw that in. This first one box down. Two cool Star Wars pops. Um, yeah, I'm gonna hang. This one's pretty heavy. I'm gonna wait till after I, eat. I open up the Hot Topic. So what did I get from Hot Topic? I think this was a pre-order. Um, non-Star Wars. Alright, so if you guys watch my videos, yeah, I buy, I buy a lot of Star Wars. So I always want to throw out there something a little different sometimes. Throw a curveball. Alright. So it looks like one box in the box. Got some hot cash. If you want to give away the hot cash, so we'll throw the hot cash down in the hot cash pile. I don't think I've seen anybody else open this up. So it'll be a, be a cool reveal and uh, we'll have to we'll have to open it up out of the box. Like I said, this is a little bigger pop. It's not a normal size pop. So tell me what you think of this. Alright, have any guesses yet? Any guesses? I don't know, does it say it on here? What does that say? Edward Scissorhands. There we go. So it's Edward Scissorhands. This is when uh, I think he uh, is out there. He trimmed up all the the bushes out there in front of the houses. So let's see if we open this one up. So this one was a pre-order, pre-order from Hot Topic. I think after I pre-ordered, I kind of second-guessed myself about buying it. Just been buying so many of these bigger, bigger pops. Don't have anywhere to put them. Don't have anywhere to put regular pops. All right. So there he is. You can see the, the dinosaur bush that he uh, he trimmed. Well, you can see on his um, his face all the the cuts, scars that he's received over the years from cutting himself with the razor blades, Edward scissor hand blades. So pretty cool. Um, Kind of a little bit different than what I also have in my collection, so I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put that. What do you guys think about that one? 
Yay or nay, you like that one? All right, so last three pops I opened were kind of like the larger, larger pops. Guess his head swivels a little bit. <clears throat> All right, so let's put this back. All right, goes over there. All right, now here comes the deluxe box. It's a pretty big box. You can see it's pretty heavy. Does it have the weight on here? 4.7 pounds. All right. Now, can you guess what it is? It's one of the recent uh, Star Wars Amazon releases. Which uh, Amazon release has came out lately? That is uh, an oversized pop. So it's going to keep it busy. You can't concentrate on the wording. All right. What's your guess going to be? What is it? All right. Did you, can you, were you able to read what was on it? Keep it down low. Try to keep it as a surprise as much as we can. All right. This is probably by far one of the best Star Wars Pops that has been released. Okay, you haven't guessed yet. Have you guessed? Let's see if I can get it out. Oh, wham, look at that. A lesson in the Force. So yeah, this is an awesome pop, a little banged up, but uh, originally this released, I think it released for 39 or some some price. It released originally on the Funko Shop or on the Amazon. So um, a few days after uh, it released, they dropped it by uh, like ten dollars. So I'm like, what? So I gotta thank, uh, I think it was Dis, Dis Pops on Instagram who uh, put that out that they, they were having a special on it. So um, I messaged uh, Amazon and inquired about uh, either a refund or returning this and getting it for the sell price. And it was real quick, easy. I did it. Um, did it all via, you know, text, never had to call them. They messaged me, had a live message. And within a few minutes, uh, they credited me, I think, like a little over $10. So, you know, good customer service by uh, Amazon. Real happy. You know, I was going to buy this regardless. So, um, look at the details. And um, the fighter, the plane, Yoda. But uh, it is pretty big. Where am I going to put this? Where, oh, where am I going to put that? So, so many Star Wars pops have been re released. But look at that detail. You know, that is awesome. Um, I can't even put it up there. I have so many other awesome pops right up there. So, let's see. Let me just put it off to the side right here. Um, hey, while we're talking about Star Wars, um, my neighbor bought this uh, item for her son. Her son ended up not wanting it and she offered it to me so this is a pretty cool little uh, child um, comes with uh, the little gear shifter ball has the Mandalorian necklace right there it's got the frog it's got the soup bowl has everything in one so this was a pretty cool pretty cool item not a Funko Pop 
but uh, definitely an awesome item to have for Star Wars. So this would go nice up there. This is uh, actual cloth. Um, so what do you guys think? You guys like that one? Have you guys seen it? Um, from what I understand, this was offered at Costco. And uh, just like popular Punko Pops, this item sold out super fast at Costco. So, you know, cold to my neighbor. Cold to her son not wanting it. Good pickup for me. All right, so we are here at the final part of the video where we do the mystery box. So, like I said, it was Toy USA. Toy USA, $80 box. I think it was uh, guaranteed... I think 70 or 80 or I'm not sure what it was it was it was better than what they've been guaranteeing lately a lot of times they've been doing $80 boxes guaranteed 60 uh, $20 difference I wasn't too happy about those but this one is only $10 difference and there was a lot of hot grills a lot of Star Wars grills the other ones so I kind of wrote down some of the ones that uh, were pictured uh, I'm not sure if you were guaranteed one out of the picture but um, there was some Ninja Turtles Michelangelo Donatello. There was a Qui Gon Jinn that I've been wanting that one. Awesome pop. There was a uh, Princess Leia. Um, I think it's from the Return of the Jedi, the one without her um, mask on. Uh, there's an older uh, Lando Calrissian. Um, also another holographic emperor. I already have that one, but uh, wouldn't mind getting that. Be a good uh, trade pop. Uh, another Ahsoka. Awesome Ahsoka, and there's uh, a Golden Frieza, uh, just to name a few. Uh, and this was called the Beat the Heat box, okay? So, let's see how I do. I think I'm like 0 and 31 on any type of grails or hits from any mystery box. So, uh, you know, I think eventually the odds have to be in my favor. Um, I think the last Gorilla I got was from a Toy USA, and that was one of my first few boxes I opened when I started collecting. So, really haven't had too good of luck lately. You know, yeah, I break even, maybe maybe a little over what um, what I paid, but nothing nothing crazy to talk about. So, um, all right, looks like there's four pops. I guess these are the bottoms, those are the tops. So I did. At the top, let's go from the bottom. I don't like having any kind of clue as far as what I'm possibly gonna open. It looked like there was one and a soft protector. Okay, so we'll open that one last. So one soft protector. All right. Start from the far left corner. Um, doesn't feel like any kind of stickers on there. So it just looks like it's a common. And Grandpa Simpson. All right, it's a cool pop. I don't really collect Simpsons. I do have one Simpson pop, and it's way up on top. It's uh, Vampire Mr. Burns. Got that in one of my first mystery boxes I ever bought. Alright, so I'll go to the furthest one. Alright, I don't feel any stickers on this one either. Alright. Ah, dark crystal. So this is a regular common pop. This one has seen its uh, better time. This classic's all scratched up. You can pick this up in uh, Target right now. So not uh, not a big fan of uh, the Dark Crystal. Did watch the original version of it way back when. All right. So we got the um, soft protector pop and one other one. Um, all right. Seems like there's a sticker on it. All right. So it's round. So I'm not sure which one that is, but here we go. Ooh, cool. Peanuts. Charlie Brown. That is a cool pop. 
So this is from Pop in the Box exclusive. So who doesn't like Charlie Brown? That's a cool pop. Not sure what it's worth. But uh, on the back, you can see the other peanuts that are available. Cool. Um, I don't really collect Charlie Brown, but uh, yeah, you may hang on to him for a while. It's a cool pop. All right, all right. So this is the final pop. All right, which one is it? Is it going to be on the video? Is it going to be on one of the top hits? Uh, should we calculate what this is first? Or we should just show it. Let's just show it. All right, one, two, three. Bam. Okay, this is a dud. Pops around the world. Are you guys serious? Toy USA, what is up with you guys? That's the, t the top hit that I get at freaking Finley. All right, well, so I'm 0 and 32 for a top hit, all right? I already have Finley. Okay, I already pick him up. I don't need another one. All right. Toy USA, you're a thorn in my side. Um, you know, Finley, they're okay. The pop around the pearl, okay. But there, this is a, a new pop. Give me something older. Well, we want Finley when I could still get them on the Funko shop. All right, let's check out prices. All right. So, freaking Finley. Can't get any of those on the top hits. All right, let's go to Pop Price Guide. You know, this probably is the most expensive one. The Pop Around the World do kind of hold their value. So Peanuts is probably second. Grandpa Simpson is probably the third. So there's Finley first to the Dark Crystal last. All right. So I probably got about $60 value. Maybe 65. All right. Check out the Dark Crystal. Um, I'm a little aggravated right now. Sorry guys. Um, been having a bad string of luck. Alright, so Agra. Surprisingly, they have it on here as $19, it's a 2016 pop. Um, so, I don't know, what you guys think? $19, people are selling on PPG starting at $45. So, I'm not sure about that. We'll check it out later, because I probably will sell that one if you're interested in the Dark Crystal. Hit me up, I'm not gonna keep that one. All right. So, surprisingly, that one's $19, so I probably already lost uh, Papa's Right, because I don't think um, Grandpa Simpson is, is worth that much. All right, yep, $10 for Grandpa Simpson. Also, we'll be selling that one. So, if you want Grandpa Simpson in your collection, hit me up. You can either message me on the video or contact me on Instagram at Big Country Steven. That's Big underscore Country underscore Steven, S T E V I N. Curious about Charlie Brown. I think this is an older pop, right? I still don't know how to read the bottom of these pops. All right, not bad. Charlie Brown is coming in at $18. This is uh, from 2017, and uh, this is the um, the more expensive version. I guess they have two variants. They have a common one that's ten dollars, 
That one's the um, Pop Animation Pop Vinyl. Uh, coming at 18. All right. So there's that. Final finale is Finley. This was the third one in the release. So uh, for these, I think the top one right now is maybe um, what is it? Um, probably Rosa, the one from Mexico, so worth pretty good. And then um, Toshi from Japan and Barking Head. Those are the top three for pops around the world. Unfortunately, this one is probably only about 20 bucks. And they sell a Funko for 15. So we'll see. All right, so okay, not bad. He's, uh, he's coming in at 40, $40. So if you guys are collecting pops around the world, you missed out on Finley. I do have an extra one. Um, so hit me up. We will make a deal. So we're probably I'm gonna sell that one. We'll sell the Simpson one. We'll sell the Dark Crystal one. And I'll probably I'll probably just sell this one. So I'll probably sell them all. Alright. So there you go. They're all for sale. Not too, uh, not too happy about the pops, but value-wise, um, you know, the value was there, um, like uh, $87, uh, almost, you know, $7 more than the box. I think it was like $16 in shipping, so I paid like $96 for everything, all right? So, hit me up. Buy one of these so I can get reimbursed, so I can buy some more boxes, and I can show you more boxes. So as of right now, um, I think I only have a few more uh, boxes uh, here. I don't have anything um, on order or anything arriving, so we're looking out for some some more boxes, different boxes. Hit me up if you have any good ideas on who I uh, should buy my next mystery box from. Okay. All right. So this is big country time. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button or the dislike button, and throw a comment down there. All right? So, and don't forget, you know, every once in a while I will pick the comments, pick through the comments and do a drawing for a winner of a pop. All right? So, throw some comments down there. You never know. You might be a winner. All right. It's Big Country Time. Signing out. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.